All right, hey, it's Mustang Stampede. Uh, usually do Mustang videos. I am also do guns. I like guns. Been into guns for a long time. Um, became even more into guns when I was in the military and shot them often. A uh, quick video on tack lights. I recently purchased um, a new tack light and was given um, a very nice tack light. So I wanted to go over some of your tack lights because I have three tack lights. Um, two that I own and one that was pretty much given to me. So I wanted to go ahead and review them because not all tack lights are made the same and as far as money you get what you pay for. So let me turn, kill the light and we'll go ahead and get started with that. Um, grab this one first and I'll grab this one over here. Alright the first light I'm going to shine uh, came from Amazon uh, it's aim point. It was uh, 19.99. Came with a pressure activated switch. Um, that is what it looks like. Um, it's not extremely bright. Uh, you wouldn't want to just look at it, but it's not ex uh, blinding bright um, like the tack lights that I'm used to. It will have her get the job done. I'm not sure how well you can see that. Um, it will allow you to pick up, uh, these are ghost ring sights on this gun, uh, very quickly at night, uh, and will definitely light the gram or whatever you need it to light up uh, to identify something. So that's a uh, 1999 aim point. Um, I have a one inch light uh, mounted to my shotgun. That's what it looks like uh, side by side. Well, this will be Th that light cost $4.99 on this shotgun. This one was $19.99. You can see there's a big difference. Um, $4.99, um, $19.99. This $4.99 light is mounted on my uh, Mossberg SPX. It's 930 SPX um, with the. It's an attachment that you can either use to attach tack lights or strengthen. Uh, the, the firearm itself by attaching the barrel to the tube fed magazine. Alright, let me grab uh, the other tack light. Um, I'm not sure of the brand name on it. Like I said, it was uh, given to me. Um, this is more the kind that we used in the military though. It was, uh, I'm guessing you'll expect to pay anywhere from Forty to a hundred plus dollars for a light like this. Um, if you're going to get real into the lights, something like a Surefire or something of that nature, um, you you know uh, you're going to get what you pay for. So here is a twenty dollar light um, compared to an expensive military style light. There's uh, really no comparison. Um, I'm not sure uh, what the rating is on this pistol mounted uh, light. I'll we'll do side by side. That is a $20 light and this is the military style tack light on a pistol. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that. I mean, hopefully you can see it. It just a It's activated toggle right there on your finger and you can toggle up and it will lock in place. Uh, the range of that wall is about 15 feet. So once again, an expensive military style light. I'm guessing 500 uh, lumens or brighter. Um, I've seen them up to 900 uh, and possibly even more. Um, this one is the $20 light from Amazon. It's aim point 90 lumens and this one is unknown lumens um, military style tack light. Um, so that's pretty much my tack light review. Uh, nothing fancy. Just wanted to kind of point out that the, the different power uh, tack lights that you can purchase um, and what they look like. Uh, I've seen I bought that one for 20 bucks because I wasn't real sure um, what the brightness was. You're not out a, lo out a lot of money if you don't like it. Um, it's mounted to the front right here on the Picatinny rail and this is the pressure switch that it came with. So I'll go ahead and close this one up 
and that's tack light if you got any questions about the tack lights um, go ahead and ask this one uh, we cannot find the pin that locks it into place so 550 cord not a big deal it's not going nowhere so if you got any questions about tack lights feel free to uh, ask and I'll try and answer the question um, as always thanks for watching